Seven seasons have passed since Matthias the warrior returned safely to Redwall Abbey with his son, Matimeo. And this is the second season that I, Tim Churchmouse, have been the official recorder of Redwall Abbey's history. Amid the deep white winter snow, while flowers weep still spring, while snug and cabin home below, our red walls weep to sing. Oh, autumn gave us plenty, our harvest did not fail. The plate our dug is empty, there's no that over rail. Oh, autumn gave us plenty, our harvest did not fail. The plate our dug is empty, there's no that over Fellow Redwallers and Woodlanders. <laughs> Abbot Mordolphus. <laughs> Abbot Mordolphus has asked that we tell how Redwall's great story began. How Martin the Warrior, defender of Redwall, my predecessor. Thank you. How he came here many seasons ago. Now you all know your own parts in our story. But today you're going to learn everything else. This great tapestry only tells part of the tale. The whole story goes back many, many seasons in the history of the Woodlanders. And here to tell us this tale is our own Abbey recorder, Tim Churchmouse. It really all begins with Martin the Warrior, first great defender of Redwall Abbey. The story begins at a place far away from here called Marshank. The pirate Badrang was the scourge of the Marshank coast. The warrior, Martin's father, prepared to leave to fight Badrang. Will you be away very long? I'll be gone a while, my son. I want to come. I can help you fight the sea rats. Are you sad, father? Now you will listen to me, young Martin. I'm leaving you this. Oh. 
to remember me by. Sometimes, son, we have to do things we'd rather not do, but must. One day, you'll understand. Grandmother, when will he be back? When the seas are safe again, Martin. Defend the weak, never fight in anger, and never let another creature take my sword from you. <laughs> Gotcha. Here you are. I've been half out of my mind looking for you. I was only... You're over a mile from home. More slaves. Run, Martin. Run, grandson. Oh, oh. You touch my grandmother and, and I'll, I'll hit you. <laughs> Give that here. You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> I promised my father not to give a sword to any creature. Did you know? You lot, get up, you! Move, you useless old lump! I strip your eye, you worthless layabouts! Hey! Uh, whoa, whoa. Still trouble, eh? I should run you through and be done with you. Scum! Scum? Scum and a thief! Ah! That sword is not yours. It belongs to me! Well, you're not short on nerve, Mouse. What's your name? My name is... Uh! My name is Martin, son of Luke the Warrior! Warrior. <laughs> well, Martin, son of Luke the Warrior, you can become Martin, the Seagull's Breakfast. <laughs> We'll have a bad time tonight if this weather worsens. It's the morning I'm worried about, Father. When the gulls and the gannets come, they'll rip him to bits. <gasps> Get away from there, or you'll be up there with him. Double work for you two tomorrow. <sighs> that brave young fella, Martin, protected me from his... I wish there was something we could do for him. There's nothing any of us can do. You won't break me, Badrang! Mm, this looking like the place of right, Mistress Rose. Soup's new done. Do you think Brome is in there? Well, the rat tracks lead here, so where else will he be? Here, eat up now. Grum Trencher, you're worse than an old housewife. Well, it keeps you warm anyway. Hmm. If only Brome hadn't wandered off from Noonvale. Well, wonder he did, and if that badrang's got him, he'll be wishing he'd listened to his father. Father meant no harm. 
He just wanted Brome to be responsible. Uh, well, young and responsible aren't words as go together, do they? Saving yourself, of course, Mistress Rose. <laughs> oh, Grum. Oh. <laughs> Guards, mistress. There will be no guards out in this weather. Martin, son of Luke, can you hear me? Martin, son of Luke. Oh. Martin. Huh? Who are you? I am Late Rose, daughter of Chief Uranvo of Noonvale. Why are you here? I seek my brother, Brome! Do you know him? No. He'd fallen unconscious if you ask I, poor creature. Martin, can we help you? Girls, we'll attack! Dawn! Not if Rose of Noonvale has anything to say about it. Find me Pebbles, Grum. I'll show that cruel, heartless badrang. Oh, I bet he be only half as ill-tempered as thee, Mizzy. And he'll feel it if he hurts that poor Martin. Or oh, my brother. <laughs> John Mouse and make him wriggle. We'll soon have him eaten. Wake up, wake up! There's some sharp beef knee breakfast. <laughs> ah, tough, eh? Well, not tough enough to stop them. <gasps> <laughs> Looks like they got good appetites today, Gurad! <laughs> good shot, mistress! Stupid bird! Go get him, you lot! <laughs> you won't need this no more. <laughs> What's happening? Thank you, Rose, whoever you are. <laughs> You see, Bugs? Ah, uh, uh, some sort of fort. Bad rain. Or I'll eat me clogs. <laughs> Would me old matey Bad rain be pleased to see me? Please, Kevin. He'll pop his cork. Ha! And if he don't, I'll pop it for him. <laughs> What's the matter with them? Oh, why aren't they tearing them apart? Oh. Now 
what? Sire, that's the cry of a great eagle. Grand. There ain't no great eagles on this coast. Stole that gab. Hang a bit of rotten fish on them. Hungry seabirds will come for that. Eagle or no eagle. Hold still, or I'll bend this deer with me spear. Stop playing the fool! Somebody's throwing rocks! Must be some beast hiding out there, Lord Badrang. That's for the last beating you gave me, Scalrag. They're coming from inside the fortress. Oh! They're coming from the shore, I tell you. They're coming from everywhere. It can't be. Get that mouse down from there into the fortress, quick! But, sire, what about the rock throwers? Scumbrain! We ought to worry about the stones. Look! Roman Cuttlefish Clog! Me old shipmate! And me mortal enemy! Pick your feet up, you lily livered slime! Look! They're cutting Martin down! I do think us and one, Missy Rose. Thank the seasons we could help that poor mouse. I gave him Billy O and me old ladler. Ho ho! So you did, Grum. Oh, yummy. Look it, Missy. Corsairs! Pirates. Come on, Grum. We'd best get away from here. We'll be safe in the marshes. I reckon you're right, Missy Rose. I don't like pirates. If only I knew Brom was safe. And I know is my old matey Badrang. You'll have slaves a plenty to build that place. Yes, Captain. Tain't right for corsairs and sea rats to row their own ship now, is it? Oh no, Captain. So will you snip ashore and ask him handsome like to fit us out with a few row beasts? Right, right Captain. Captain. And if you won't. I'll use Slitty's Gizzard, use his skull as my figurehead, and take him anyway! <laughs> <laughs> Only fair, ain't it, Grouch? <laughs> Taint a yoke, matey. Badrang knows I hate his miserable, treacherous guts. And I'll have his slaves. Every last one of them! Hearken, young mouse. You're not short on nerve, and, uh... Now I could use a tough fighter like you. What things mean as they are. How'd you like to be a captain in my horde? Best food, best slaves. What do you say, young'un? Will you swear loyalty to me against old Clog? You wish the gold's got to you, Will! Chuck him in the pit! Don't just stand there! We got pirates to deal with! Oh. Well, <laughs> you're still alive, Martin. I'm Feldo. You saved my father, Bark John. What are you doing down here? Stiffia saw me throwing rocks at him on the wall. Well, thanks for helping. I thought I was bird meat for a while. You helped my old dad, so I did what I could for you, matey. What's Bad Rain going to do with huh? us? Who's there? This young fella's Brome. Brome? Hello. Your sister's outside with somebody called Grum. Rose and Grum? Outside? Yes. I owe them and Feldo my life. They drove off the birds. Then there was a screech, like an eagle. 
That's Rose. She does all sorts of voices. They'll soon get us away from Badrang. You'll see. Simple as picking daisies. Hmm. When was the last time you picked daisies, matey? A long time ago. Simple, was it? But not impossible. Poor little slaves to build a place like that, Boggs. Oh, lots, Captain. Crowds of them. Lots and crowds? Aye, lots and crowds. Which is most crowds? Lots or crowds? Why, bless your heart, Captain. Crowds? That means lots and lots! <laughs> Well said, matey. Pray down all weapons. We lay up the coastaways and hide out of sight. Then we'll go ashore for a little <laughs> reunion with me old messmate Badrai. And we'll have all his slaves as robists. Or we'll have them all for fish bait. Ha! Ah!